it's 3 a.m. I just got to the shop. Doug and his wife are going to be here shortly to pick me up, take me to the airport, going on a little trip this morning. Doug was supposed to be Doug and I going. However, Doug injured his knee last week and could hardly walk, and the doctor told him not to go on this trip. So they are taking me to the airport, and I am heading west. Uh, got a layover in Salt Lake City. It's going to be about a four-hour total flight. Stay tuned to see what's up. Well, welcome to sunny, warm Northern California. We're just outside of Sacramento. I have a 1900 and something mile trip back to the shop. We bought something today and I'm bringing her back home. So come along for the journey. I'll give you some clips of it when we stop here and a full tour of what we bought once I get back to the shop sometime tomorrow or Wednesday. So stick around. Beautiful country up and down through the mountains, but this puts a damper on making good time back home. Goes down to one lane up here and we're at five mile an hour. So the cab of this truck is the same cab, just upgraded version, a little fancier. So that's nice, all that's the same, except this one is fully automatic and don't have a clutch to stop and start. So that takes some use to getting, that takes some getting used to. But we're making progress. I'm about an hour into the trip. Uh, about 40 miles outside of Reno, Nevada. Well, dropping down into Reno, making progress. It is 1.35 local time, puts it at 3.30 back home. Plan is to drive as far as I can tonight till I get sleepy and pull over and go to bed. Well, not too often you get to drive through a tunnel. Oh, this is just a little one. Windshield's covered with bugs and it just started misting rain. Not a good combination. And there is more road construction in Nevada than I think Illinois has. Well, I will say one thing. This thing glows in the dark. I don't know if this is doing it justice, but you can see all of the chicken lights glowing off the road signs. They don't even look white from the headlights. This thing's pretty trick. I think you all are going to like it when you see it. It is 7.30 local time. I am about an hour and a half. Uh, let's go two hours from Salt Lake City. Still trucking. Up the mountain, down the mountain, in Nevada. Well, we've changed time zones, mountain time. It's now 10.30 local. We are just coming into Salt Lake City. Still trucking on. Got a radio station back, so that's a bonus. Hoping to make it to Wyoming tonight, either Rollins or Cheyenne. We'll see how it goes. So far, it's been a pretty easy go. Slaughtering bugs like there's no tomorrow. 
sun's coming up over the mountaintop now. Can't see a thing. We're driving straight into it. And these bugs on the windshield make it worse. Good morning. I've been on the road about 15 minutes. It's 7.30 local time. Stopped about 12.30 local time last night. Went to bed. Had to fire the generator up, turn the heater on. Because it is currently 38 degrees here. We're about 10 miles outside of Little America, Wyoming. Trucking home. As it stands now, it says I should be home about 1 a.m. Making progress. I have to stop and get fuel and get some breakfast here in a little bit. Definitely clean the windows. Trip's been going good. Truck's running good. Runs smooth. This Mercedes motor, I, I like it. Catch y'all after a while. Well, getting one state closer to home. Rolling into Nebraska now. Been a whole lot of nothing but flat fields and a big hill sporadically scattered up here and there. I'm ready to get home. And I got about 900 miles still to go and it is 12.20 local time here, 120 our time. Well, it's 8 o'clock central time. I just hit the Iowa border, trucking down Interstate 29 towards Interstate 7. Uh, it says I should be home about 1.38, which ain't going to happen because I'm going to have to stop, get some go-go juice, and clean the bugs off the windows for the fourth time. Third be the third time today. This thing eats the bugs for sure. If you like what you're seeing, hit that thumbs up button for us. Uh, won't be long now. We're on close to the home stretch. Well, here she is. I got home about two this morning, went to bed, got up about 8.30 and brought her to the shop. Got her all washed up. It had all kinds of bugs on it. So I wanted to get them off there before they got stuck on there too bad. She needs a little TLC, a little waxing, polishing but ran great drove great rode smooth did not have any issues whatsoever hop along over here is already working on it We've got the automatic step when you open the door come in we got a couch a dinette bed up there Couch makes the bed, little kitchenette with a cook surface, microwave, refrigerator, bathrooms in here, got a shower, toilet, sink. Doug is ecstatic with it. Uh, so it was about 1950 miles uh, from his house to my house or to the shop. Uh, some long days but got her done the carbon fiber look on the couch and the dinette match the front seats same carbon fiber look dashboard's been updated uh or i shouldn't say updated it's an upgraded heritage edition so this was rather cheap looking wood grain on our old one everything works all the lights this thing at night lights up magnificently. I think what we're gonna do in here is change these lights, those lights, change these lights. Uh, it is kind of dark in here with all the lights on. We're gonna try and brighten it up. But that's gonna be it for now. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that thumbs up button. Drop us a comment, let us know what you think of this. We the truck is overall the same length. The box size is smaller. 
uh, downsized a little bit with what we're doing. Now we got to find a trailer. We wanted a ramp, ramp door trailer instead of a lift gate trailer because most time it's me and Doug unloading and it's a lot easier and faster with just dropping the back door and rolling the car out as opposed to messing with the lift gate. We did like the lift gate. It was just more of a pain in the butt for what we needed. So that's why, as Doug says, we're right sizing for what we need. Um, drop us a comment. Let us know what you think about the new truck. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, you can do so by hitting the picture of Darren's race car in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, catch you all later.